Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmon Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the Microsoft Windows update with the error code 0x8007-0641 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So the Windows update error 0x8007-0641 is usually related to the windows installer service which may corrupted and prevent you from installing the latest windows update and the possible reasons for this issue such as corrupted or missing windows system files malware or virus infections damage or outdated windows installer files and windows registry issues and without further ado and let's go ahead so the first solutions we will do is to restart the windows installer service so all you have to do is to press the windows key plus letter r on your keyboard and pop up this run so here in box and then you need to type this command keyword services that msc so just type this command keyword services that msc that is one word and then click ok and once open up the services and then services local and on right side and then we need to find and locate this windows installer service so scroll down and then find this windows installer service so all you have to do is to select and then right click and then check if the service is already running and then click start but if the service is not running and then we need to double click and then here at general properties and then you need to select this automatic so this is grayed out so all you have to do is to select here and service status and then click start and then wait to complete the start all right and then once already done for the service status restart and then click ok all right and the other solutions we will do is to run the windows update from our shooters so all you have to do is to press the windows key plus letter i on your keyboard to open the windows settings and then once open up this windows settings at left side menu and then select system and on right side and then scroll down and find and locate this troubleshoot settings and then click so here are troubleshoots and then you need to select other troubleshooters and then click and here again at other troubleshooters and then you need to select windows update and on right side and then you can see here the run and then you need to click this run settings and we will wait to complete the detecting problems initializing and diagnostic process and troubleshooting has completed as well as the scan resort complete so we have here one problem spawn with the windows update issues one detected if this problem solved then click yes but if not then click no and also you can view the detailed information about these issues so once it's done here at windows other troubleshooters and the next solutions we will do is to run the sfc scan so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then you need to type a cmd or uh, this is the command prompt and then you need to right click and select run as administrator if you receive user account control and then click yes and once you open up this administrator command prompt and then next step and then you need to type and enter this command keyword as fc space slash scan now so slash scan now that is one word and then press enter and beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verification space of system scan so here we need to wait to complete the verifications into 100 percent so this command keyword sfc scan now is a command used in windows to run the system file checker which scans all protected system files on your computer and replaces any corrupted or incorrect versions with the correct microsoft versions so that's why we will do this command keyword and finally verification 100 complete and then we need to close the cmd 
and then here at the start menu and then we need to restart all right so that's it guys on how to fix windows update with the error code 0x8007064 in windows and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial